Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So, do you know guys that even if you are a holder of visitor's visa, you can legally stay here in Canada and apply for work permit inside Canada? So, if you're interested to know more about this topic, please keep on watching. Yes guys, with the temporary policy na green ad ng Canada, so even if you are just a holder of visitor's visa, so in Canada, you can still stay here in Canada and apply for work permit inside Canada. Kasi before the pandemic, uh, if you are just a mere holder of visitor's visa, of course, you are not allowed to apply for work permit here in Canada. So, that's a violation or illegal yun na gawin. But during the pandemic, so specifically August 2020, the Canada has already um, released this temporary policy allowing even the visitor's visa holder to apply for work permit while being here in Canada. So that is because, yun nga, given na pandemic yun and there's a lot of labor shortage dahil marami nagkakasakit or ayaw din mag-work na mga tao during that time. So they have allowed even people holding visitor's visa to find and apply for work. So this temporary policy has supposedly ended last February 28, 2023. But gladly, Canada has extended this temporary policy until February 28, 2025. So you still have two more years if you want to find work here in Canada through this pathway or through having just a visitor's visa. So, how can we do this? Or what are the requirements or what are the procedures? So, before we go to the requirements or process, so, punta muna tayo sa reason. Bakit ba in-extend uh, ng Canada itong temporary policy na to? So, dahil yun nga, nakikita pa rin talaga nila na there is labor shortage here in Canada. So, that's why they are allowing this temporary residents holding a uh, valid uh, visitor's visa to find work and apply for work permit here in Canada. Also, kasama dito sa temporary policy nito is the allowance of former temporary foreign workers na mag-apply for authorization to work pending their work permit application. Guys, kindly take note ha, the difference. If you are just a mere holder of visitor's visa, pero hindi ka nag-work previously, or hindi ka nagkaroon ng work permit uh, during the past 12 months here in Canada, so you are not allowed to uh, work pending the approval of your work permit. But if you are a former uh, foreign worker here in Canada within the past 12 months. So, you can apply for authorization to work during the pendency of your application. So, first, dun muna tayo sa first situation. If you are a holder of visitor's visa here in Canada, so what are the conditions para payagan ka mag-apply for work permit here in Canada? So, first requirement, of course, is that you must be a holder of valid visitor's visa. So, the second requirement is that you must have submitted an employer-specific work permit application. Ito yung mga LMIA or Labor Market Impact Assessment. So, what is this LMIA or the Labor Market Impact Assessment? Basically, this is a document that is being secured by the employer to prove that there is really a need for that employer to hire a foreign worker. So, a positive LAMIA or LMIA uh, must show that there is no available permanent resident here in Canada or a Canadian citizen that is willing or available to fill in that position. So, yun. So, that is the um, second requirement. The 
Uh, and then the third requirement is that you must uh, remain in Canada during the period of your work permit application. So you must really have the intention to to stay here in Canada and wait for your work permit application to be processed. And finally, you must have submitted your work permit application on or before February 28, 2025. Also, we have mentioned that former temporary foreign workers can be allowed to work during the pendency of their work permit application. So, what will be the conditions or requirements for them to be allowed to do that? So, first and foremost, they must be in Canada with a valid temporary resident status. Second requirement is that they must have held a valid work permit 12 months preceding the date of their uh, applic work permit application. Even now, they are mere holders of visitor's visa. And then third one is that they must have intention to work for an employer which offers LMIA or Labor Market Impact Assessment. Uh, take note guys that the authorization to work for former temporary foreign workers is not automatic. That's why the fourth requirement mentions that they must have applied and secured authorization to work before IRCC. And finally, they must remain inside Canada during the entire period that their work permit application is being processed. So these are the conditions that one must comply if they would want to have that interim work authorization granted. So take note guys, ito mas murang way para makapa, makapunta sa Canada at makapag-work later on kasi hindi ka gagastos ng milyon-milyon para sa tuition fee. So that is through student pathway. So if you would want to legally stay here in Canada and find work later on, you can try this. So you can secure a valid visitor's visa and then apply for a work permit uh, later on, basta pili lang kayo ng employer na nag uh, secure ng valid LMIA or Labor Market Impact Assessment. This pathway can be done DIY or do it yourself kahit kayo lang mag research on your own or you can secure the assistance of an agency. Guys, take note lang ha na hindi ako immigration lawyer here in Canada, hindi rin ako immigration consultant here, hindi rin ako nag-work for an agency. So, I apologize if there will be questions or um, asking for assistance na hindi ko matutulungan kasi I'm not knowledgeable on that aspect. Um, I'm just giving the information about this temporary policy. If you would be in interested you can research further about the uh, processing of this one or you can secure the help of an agency so guys let me just give you a short rundown of the requirements for a visitor's visa here in canada so the good thing here guys is that in the application for a visitor's visa there is no ielts required no experience required no educational uh, attainment required but you have to take note that there is a proof of fund or show money required so that proof of fund or show money aspect uh, depends on the length of your stay so if it's one month long uh, three months six months so depending on the longer the stay the higher the the funds that you should show before the visa officer so basically, in order for you to secure a visitor's visa here in Canada, of course, first, you must have a valid passport. And if you guys have an intention of um, staying here in Canada for a longer period of time, mas maganda i-ensure nyo na yung passport nyo, it has a longer validity period or expiry date. So nasa 10 years naman na yan, usually binibigay ng... Um, DFA, so yan, mas okay na yan or mas pabor na kapag nirenew nyo na yung passport before coming here in Canada. And then, another requirement of course is that you must be in good health because in certain circumstances, even if 
you are just applying for a visitor's visa, you may be required to do a medical exam. So that is only for certain circumstances because generally naman, hindi talaga nire-require yung mga visitor's visa holder in Canada to do medical exam. So unless you fall under certain special circumstances. So, and then another is that you must have no criminal or immigration-related convictions. So, at least you must uh, show that you have a very good track record or clean slate or background. You can show that by submitting your updated NBI clearance. And then, another important thing that you should show when you apply for a visitor visa is that you must have this family ties. So, ano ba yung family ties? Ito yung mga bagay-bagay or aspeto in your life na magpo-prove sa visa officer that you still have roots in the Philippines and you really have the intention to go back in the Philippines after your valid stay in Canada lapses. So, ibig sabihin, makikita din ng visa officer nyo na you have no intention na maging TNT later on Kasi nga, you have these strong roots in the Philippines, like you have a house there, you have properties, your families are there, um, parents, siblings, and then the uh, rest of your relatives. And then you can also submit your employment record. Kasi for example, you have this employment na iiwan nyo in the Philippines kasi yung application nyo lang naman for a visitor's visa in Canada is just for a short vacation, one or two month vacation. So those little proof na dapat ipakita nyo sa visa officer na babalik pa rin kayo sa Philippines. And then... Lastly, pinaka-important then is the proof of funds. So, yung minention natin kanina, you must really show that you have this sufficient amount of money that can support uh, yourself during your stay here in Canada, however long it may be. So, it may be one month, two months, or six months. So, depending on your application. So, another document that you can add for your visitor's visa application is the invitation letter. Invitation letter can add a boost uh, in your application na makikita ni visa officer na your stay in Canada will really be for visit or travel or leisure. So, it can be um, made by your family here in Canada or relatives or friends. So, patulong na lang kayo if you have one. So, yun. If you have gotten your visitor's visa na, as long as it is on or before February 28, 2025, you can still apply for work permit application inside Canada. So that is really a temporary policy na in-extend lang until that year ni Canada. So if you would want to utilize that opportunity, so do it now kasi tumatakbo yung oras. We don't know uh, how long will the processing be. Kapag mag apply ka pa lang ng visitor's visa and then later on, mag apply ka ng work permit application. And para sa mga interested dyan, you can try this pathway to legally stay here in Canada and find work inside Canada. So yun guys, i-clear ko lang no. Baka kasi mamaya sabihin nyo, pag nag-tourist visa kayo, is makakakuha agad kayo ng, ano, dito, ng work permit. Guys, ah, kailangan nyo pa rin maghanap ng, ano, ah, ng employer nyo. Lam na may lamia. Na may lamia. Hindi basta-basta na akala nyo na pag pumunta kayo dito, mag-visit kayo, tapos mag apply na kayo kahit sa ang trabaho. Take note guys. Kasi, may nag ano kasi sa akin niya, kaya ko lang naalala, at saka yung share ko sa inyo, kasi may nagtanong sa akin, na pag, kasi nga daw, mas madali nga daw ang visit, kasi kumpara sa student pathway, di ba? Kasi, mas mura, mas, mas mura yung, ano mo, magagastos mo. Pero sabi ko nga, hindi basta-basta makakakuha ng Lamia. Umbaga, pahirapan pa rin, guys. Kailangan And mag, pa rin. may konting gastos rin. Oo. At saka, at saka may gastos pa rin yun. Hindi, hindi akala nyo lang na pag pumunta kayo dito as tourist, makakagad kayo ng, ano, ng work permit. Hindi, guys. Kaya, careful lang, guys. At ano yan, baka kasi sabihin nyo, yeah. pa, yun na pa yung pinaka-best way na para makapunta dito sa Canada. So, maganda so, rin talaga magtanong-tanong kayo sa groups. Kasi kami din, if we... Wanted talaga na mag-student pathway, we join groups and ask mm -hmm. for uh, this 
things para sa ganyang pathway. So, if you would want to try this pathway, so try to join groups related to that pathway para na rin mag-guide kayo or malinawan about those uh, things or aspects. Tama. Kaya kasi nga, baka sabihin nyo, Uy, ito na pala yung madaling pathway ngayon, no? yung visit nga, yung visitor visit na yan. So, pag-aralan nyo mabuti guys. Yeah. So, eto lang naman yung additional information namin if you are interested. Pero you really have to do your own due diligence. Kasi hindi lang naman eto lahat yung info na kailangan nyo. Marami pa talagang kailangan malaman uh, when you want to try this kind of pathway. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yun. So, bago tapusin namin tong video na to nga pala guys. Yeah. yeah. Ipa Isingit na lang namin din yung short commercial namin. So, because um, you remember guys that we did an unboxing of this Teddy Blake bag few months ago. So, several months ago na namin na-receive to. And I just want to show na it has maintained true to its quality. So, this letter, parang wala, walang nangyari. Bagong bago pa rin kahit nagagamit ko siya during my work yan sa Nordstrom or kapag pumupunta kami sa mga park. So, I use this. Tapos, yeah. nilalagyan ko pa ng mga bote ni Zion. So, yan. Na-maintain niya yung quality niya. Mm -hmm. Yan. Even inside. So, marami nga to. Eh. Actually, maraming laman na pwedeng uh, ilagay. So, I have books here. Yan. Ito yung mga dinadala ko kapag kunwari magbabantay ako kay Zion or ganyan so saan kami tatambay and then yan wallets yan minsan na dito na rin yung diaper yan and then <laughs> and then chocolates anyway in relation to that kasi you may want to utilize the women's day sale ng Teddy Blake so that will take place ngayong March 3 until March 8 and then they also have this spring sale it will take place also on March 24 until April 2 so, if you would want to really, really save, so they have huge discounts on those period. So, you can click the link below para ma-access kung ano ba yung mga bags on sale. And, yun. So, you get to experience this luxury bag at a very affordable price. So, that's just a short commercial kasi um, super ganda talaga ng bag uh, ng Teddy Blake. Yeah. To be honest, guys, talagang yung quality niya is napakaganda. Tsaka, makikita mo talaga yung tibay. Oo, parang kasi may din, ano, hindi siya masyado na de-deform so, kahit... Uh, alam ko, um, may din na ito, crocodile. <laughs> yung balat ng crocodile. Yeah. Yan, nakapansin nyo naman eh. Yan, kasi yung bag niya talaga, ang, ang name niya is uh, Ava Croco. So, yun. Okay, yun guys, pag tunik niyo yung link namin, magkakaroon kayo ng discount dyan. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you have not yet subscribed in our channel, please click subscribe and click na rin the notification button in order for you to get notified of our future uploads. So that's it guys. Thank you and God bless.